and see again sit by several family members who are female I can pretty much prove that they, pretty much that, that that's all some of them have ever done is birth children and then take it away from them and then fight over the turquoise or the peach or the blue or the pink or the black or whatever and so um, Jim Riley, Tom Serson, Harry Rays, Bernard Lachance, DJ Dave, Pearly Tukunwan, Elton Anderson, Don Wiley, 1961, Oyster Cracker Man, All American, Antilla Joe, Jim Hall, Bill Duvall, Morgan, Steve Jones, Negroes. To make a claim for it, and also African Americans lounge around like you won, to make the claim for it, Stan and Harry, Dave, and Perlita, kind of makes you guys look dumb. Because I can guarantee you, I'm property pretty much of several women in the world that are going to dispute you all. But, you know, I'm property of them pretty much permanently in the United States and the world and always have been. So to make claim to it, Bernardo La Carne and Country Western and Ghetto Lifers, David Corvita, African Americans, Elton and Don, kind of makes you all look dumb. Especially with these women. <laughs> so, especially with some of these people. <laughs> the groups of you are not going to win. I can guarantee it. So when you guys make claims to it, <laughs> just look at Zilly Dave and Perlita, especially when you're telling people that the children belong to me that aren't Perlita. So, so Stan, if Auntie Wendy or, or, or Miss Punky McBride's going for it, I can guarantee you, at least with those two, <laughs> none of you are going to win. So... I'm, pro I'm property to more women than that. So, I'm sorry, Elton and the Negroes in your attempt, and uh, Ellery's and Robo Knight, <laughs> and Vibia's Basement and Teleman, Pick the Street to make his re airy. To make, take claim to it, kind of makes you guys look dumb, Dave and Polito. So, you can shush all you want, Robo Knight, but your guys' attempts at doing this is why it's all work here and across multiple states. So, you can come up with any bullshit faggot story you want, prison fag Dave, and whisper and coward, but like I said, with that creep of women and these people looking out for it, and the Negroes assertion and they're lounging around thinking it's funny and you guys won't win, they've been doing it throughout history long before most of you were born. Like I said, Greg and them have, some of them have a history going so far back before this stuff was even around. So I'm going to trust that, because that's where I'm really from. So Joe and them didn't fuck it up. And Karen, you guys didn't theme it up in, you know, Carney out in country and western and ghettoize it. It worked. But I got to deal with a rapist fag stalker and Dave and all them going, well, Tom Lars, oh, we're going to get sick of time. Sorry, dudes. Like I said, I'm personal property of the military and several other women first. And uh, some younger ones as well, long before you people's arrival. So the chances of you guys winning, like 0%. So your assertions and your claims... 61 Oyster Cracker Man, the Antillas, and your experimentatoring, and let's see, Don Wiley and Elton and Ellery's and Robo Knight and your Carney show, Dave and Perlita, Harry, Elton and Don, Jim Alba, Laval, Morgan, Steve Jones. It's fucking pathetic, Carney, Bernard. That's how desperate you guys are getting. And if you guys didn't torture and rape and mutilate us, then we would have, it would have worked. See, but the Bernard and his little team just can't seem to figure that part out. So you've already ran this show before, Bernard. But the thing is, like I said, I'm already property of several women here in the United States and the world. And um, two of them, I can guarantee you, you won't beat me if they're going for theirs. And there was younger ones before that. So that's why I warned them. So your made-up story, Bernard, with that group of people just so you can win um, is a pretty desperate, pathetic attempt. But we'll let you guys do it and look dumb forever while everybody else makes super massive buck profits off of the most desperate carny show on the earth.